It is the prize pony in the stable that is New York's public transport network. Grand Central Terminal. Opened in 1913 during the golden age of the railroad and financed by Vanderbilt family money. It is a marvel of Beau Arts architecture. That marble concourse and the famed opal clock. And ugh, eyes up to that celestial ceiling. But do not be fooled. This is not style over substance. Here, there are 67 tracks which serve more than 100,000 commuters passing through Grand Central on the way to Midtown Manhattan offices or joining the New York City subway. A cathedral to public transport, a monument to vision, ideas and foresight. That's what Grand Central Station is, because right in the heart of New York, north, south, east, west of Manhattan, and it all meets here. No wonder it's such an icon. An icon that nearly vanished. In the 1960s and 70s, developers tried multiple times to demolish it. It led the former First Lady Jackie Kennedy Onassis and the architect Philip Johnson to start a committee to save Grand Central. Ultimately, it was the US Supreme Court that saved this building when it ruled the city could legally protect the station as a landmark. Protecting Grand Central didn't stop decades of neglect until a $200 million renovation finally returned this masterpiece to its original glory in 1998. Now, Grand Central is on the brink of another historic transition. An entirely new terminal within a terminal, set to open below the historic building. It will allow commuters from Long Island to come directly to the east side of Manhattan. The price tag for the project, a whopping $11 billion. I'm now about 150 feet beneath the street level and this is one of the tracks and major concourses. And so I asked the builders, well, what was here before all this was built? Solid bedrock. They literally blasted the whole thing to create this. Grand Central Madison is set to open by the end of the year. It will cement the terminal's place as the core of the Big Apple. Now,